Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as promised, uh, in this uh, video 9.2, uh, uh, we got, we're gonna get, we're gonna split video 9.2 into 9.2a, 9.2b, etc., because this is a long uh, uh, lesson. So we, we continue to uh, using t tests uh, in order to compare two groups. So as you remember already, we in the previous lesson, 9.1, we already covered uh, one sample uh, t-test. So we're done with that. Uh, we shall continue to uh, lesson 9.2a in the independent samples t-test. So uh, I want to notify uh, that uh, this uh, uh, independent sample t-test is very versatile, is very a powerful is a, a type of parametric test that is uh, popular when we compare uh, two groups uh, of participants on uh, a dependent variable. So I just want to give uh, the audience uh, a few examples. Uh, uh, an independent sample t-test is appropriate when we want to compare, for example, uh, fresh graduates from school A with uh, fresh graduates from school B. In this context, there are two groups that are independent from each other, they are, that are unrelated uh, to each other. So we want to compare the two groups on one dependent variable here. For example, we want to compare uh, the salary of the two groups in the first year. Uh, we want to know whether uh, they don't earn, you know, different amount of salary or school A graduates generate more salary than school B and uh, vice versa. Uh, an independent sample t-test is also appropriate for this uh, kind of uh, research topic. Uh, a psychologist might want to compare the level of stress of uh, his clients who, who are asked to practice yoga uh, and another group of clients who are asked to practice uh, meditation. So you can see independent sample t-test is very powerful. It is, uh, is employed in both experimental designs and non-experimental designs. In this example, uh, example one, uh, this is non-experimental uh, research. Uh, the researcher just uh, contact uh, fresh graduates from school A and fresh graduates from school B and ask them about their uh, salary in the first year and uh, uh, the researcher going to compare uh, the two groups on the salary. Okay, this is non-experimental. However, uh, in the second example, this is truly experimental because uh, the, medical, the the psychologist want to know whether uh, his clients who are uh, assigned to the yoga group uh, and the clients who are assigned to the meditation group are gonna uh, you know have a different level of stress after you know like six weeks of experiment or uh, two months of experiment so uh, when uh, participants or subjects are assigned to, you know, uh, an intervention or program or treatment like this, this is called um, an experimental study. And and uh, again, I just want to emphasize that independent sample t-test uh, is employed in both experiment and non-experimental research. Um, another uh, example I want to provide uh, is, is this. Uh, we, in this research, the, the researcher want to compare boys and girls on, on three dependent variables, on time they spend on social media, time they spend on pleasure reading, and uh, the number of times uh, they engage in physical exercise per week. So, uh, you know, um, we can we can perform uh, you know three uh, independent sample teachers at the same time using SPSS. That is 
very useful that save a lot of time for uh, the researchers. So as you can see uh, in the uh, first exam in this research uh, question, uh, the first variable, the first dependent variable that the researcher want to compare the two groups on is uh, their time spent on social media. For example, you survey uh, both groups and you learn that on average, boys spend uh, 2.2 uh, 2 hours uh, per day on social media versus a girl spending three hours on average per day on social media. You want to find out whether uh, girls uh, significantly spend more time or in this situation waste more time on social media than boy, okay? So uh, independent sample t-test allow us to to see if, you know, the, the difference here, the difference is uh, almost one hour. Uh, in this data, data uh, girls spend almost one hour um, uh, more on social media uh, per day uh, than boy. Uh, but uh, the difference uh, between the amount of time they devote to social media here could happen by chance. Uh, we cannot look, just look at the mean of the two groups and conclude that you know boys spend less time or girls spend more time on social media. We need to perform uh, you know, earn inferential statistics. In this situation, we need to perform uh, independent sample t-test in order to uh, draw a conclusion uh, uh, on this uh, uh, important uh, dependent variable. Likewise, uh, another dependent variable uh, the researcher is uh, trying to compare both groups on is the amount of time they spend on pleasure reading per week. Uh, it seems that uh, girls spend more time on pleasure reading than boy, but wait, okay, wait, we cannot just look at the means of the two groups and draw a conclusion and make a conclusion that uh, boys are lazier or girls are more active, more industrious, more avid or convinced readers than boy. And the last dependent variable that the researcher uh, in this study tried to compare both groups on is the number of times they spend on physical exercise per week. For example, she learned that uh, on average, boys, you know, uh, uh, engage in uh, physical exercise 3.5 times per week versus 3.9 times uh, uh, for girls uh, per week. So that that gonna be handled by uh, the independent sample t-test. It's T-test, independent sample T-test is designed to, to compare, you know, two groups uh, on uh, one dependent variable or multiple uh, dependent variable as long as the, you know, the groups are the same. Uh, in this context, boys and girls uh, are the same group. So we go to uh, research question uh, and, and uh, that, that are appropriate uh, for uh, asked to use independent sample t-test. For example, the first research question is, do fresh graduates from school A earn more salary uh, per year or in the first year than those graduated from school B? And second research question, do participants who experience yoga and meditation significantly differ on a level of stress? And the third research question, how do boys and girls compare on time spent on social media, time spent on pleasure reading, and the number of times on physical exercise? So uh, please uh, be uh, notified that all research questions uh, contain only two groups. The first research question contain two groups, uh, school A graduate and school B graduate. Uh, second research question contain two groups also, uh, those who practice yoga and those who practice meditation. And the third research question also contained only two groups, boys and girl group. Uh, but uh, uh, there is a little bit different in terms of the number of dependent variable in each research question. The first one uh, contains only one uh, dependent variable, which is uh, amount of salary they earn per year. And the second uh, research question has only one dependent variable also, which is the level of stress. However, 
the third research question contains or consists of up to three dependent variable, including time on social media, time on pleasure reading, and number of times spent on physical exercise. Now let's go to some uh, concepts uh, uh, behind uh, independent sample t-test. Uh, independent sample t-test is used. It is used to investigate the difference between two unrelated or uh, independent groups on an approximately not more dependent variable. I'm sorry, uh, we, we need to add uh, the, the word not more dependent variable here. So you, you can see this test is designed to uh, verify whether there is a significant dif significantly a significant difference between uh, between uh, two groups that are independent uh, from each other on one or multiple dependent variables. Uh, this is this this is next concept to take away. There are three assumptions for uh, the independent sample t test. Uh, the first one we need to check uh, to make sure that the variances uh, to check the assumption. The first assumption: the variances of, of the dependent variable in the two populations are equal. So, you know, uh, we have group A and group B. We need to check the first assumption. Uh, we need to compare the variance of group A with the variance of group B uh, in order to see uh, whether uh, both of them are uh, equal. We're going to learn how to do that. Uh, the second assumption is that uh, the dependent variable is normally distributed within each population. Uh, for example, if we want to compare uh, the amount of time on social media for a boys group and girl groups, we need to check the uh, normality of the uh, amount of time for boy group and the amount of time for girl group and we want to see uh, uh, this kind of result uh, both sets of uh, data uh, are approximately normal and the third assumption is that the data are independent uh, in other words uh, uh, the scores provided by one participant are not related to score of the others so the data provided by uh, the boys and not one boy is not related to uh, another girl and another boy is not related to another girl something like that so uh, these are uh, uh, you know take away concepts uh, for for uh, for us in this lesson um, it's very easy to uh, compute SPSS and uh, to compute uh, independent sample t-test in SPSS there are some steps to go through Step one is to go to uh, analyze. Uh, step two is to go to compare means. Uh, step three is to go to independent samples uh, t-test. Uh, step four is to go to if we if to move, you know, one dependent variable, or we can move multiple uh, of them uh, to the test variable box. And step five is to move only one. <laughs> there is only one. We cannot move two independent variables. We move uh, one uh, independent variable, for example, gender, to the grouping variable box. And step six is to click on define groups. And then uh, we're going to see the small dialog box. We need to enter the codes for group one and the codes for group two. Uh, uh, normally, we use uh, zero, for co uh, zero to code group one and one to code group two. So we can enter zero for males and one for uh, females in uh, in the boxes and then we click continue and we click uh, OK. Uh, in order to demonstrate I want to switch the, the screen so that I can demonstrate uh, with uh, real data here.
So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after uh, a short uh, pause here, we're gonna we're gonna learn how to do this. We're gonna go to analyze. We go to compare means. We go to independent sample t test. Okay, so we uh, can highlight one or three. Uh, Dependent variable, move them to the test variable box. Test variable box. We click on gender, we move it to grouping variable box, and we click on define group. Now we can enter the first code zero coded for boys and one coded for girl. We click on continue and OK, and we're gonna see the uh, result here. So this is the first part uh, of the uh, lesson on independent sample t-test, okay? And this is the end of uh, video uh, 9.2a. So we're going to come back to the next video in order to uh, learn how to read all the numbers uh, generated by SPSS for the independent sample t-test. Bye.